Hey, this is a very special episode of Mouth Load. We're entering into Ballistic Barbecue's grilled sandwich competition. One of them is a grilled tilapia sandwich that's going to be Southeast Asian styled flavors. And then the other is a grilled ribeye sandwich that should be more of like a, uh, you know, Eastern China, Korean barbecue type flavors going on. Uh, they both turned out really well in our opinion, and we hope you guys enjoy them. The grilled tilapia sandwich, you're going to go with uh, just tilapia fillets that will be marinated in half a lemon and half of lime juice, two strawberries and a pear were minced together, three tablespoons of sriracha, one tablespoon of sesame oil, and one tablespoon of McCormick Asian seasoning, which has garlic, ginger salt, orange, some other stuff thrown in there. And uh, just let that sit for 15 to 30 minutes. Great stuff. The grilled ribeye, this is something you're going to marinate overnight. And uh, we use two pounds of ribeye sliced into about uh, half inch slices. And it's a third of a cup of Kraft Chipotle barbecue sauce, third of a cup of sriracha, two tablespoons of hoisin sauce, another tablespoon of that McCormick Asian seasoning, and a tablespoon of sesame oil. Just get the you know full, robust Asian flavors going on. And something that we used on both of these uh, sandwiches was a tropical cucumber slaw. I just grabbed a cucumber, thinly sliced it, one carrot grated, a mango that we diced up, half a lemon, half a lime juice again, and uh, that Asian seasoning and a little bit of sriracha at the end just to bind it all together. And we hope you guys enjoy the recipe and the show. Thanks for watching. All right, it's another episode of the Roadkill Bros. This, uh, our eating show is called Mouth Load, right? Yep. All right, so we're going to do some uh, grilled food. We've got the grill going here. We've got this uh, really some tilapia. we got some lemon, lime, strawberry, a little bit of carrot stuff. We'll see how that goes on. Some mango juices. I'm going to put that over on the not as hot side, but it's, it's starting to boil up. And then we've got this sesame oil. I'm going to drip this or something on this little paintbrush here. And it's starting to cool up here, but I'm going to try and oil the grill there. It might be a little hot, who knows. <laughs> but we're going to put some uh, ribeye that I've marinated in sort of like an Asian style barbecue. I took a little bit of Craft barbecue sauce. It's got a chipotle thing going on. Mix in some hoisin sauce and some just regular uh, old sort of Asian style things. Some soy sauce. It's uh, hopefully going to be pretty tasty. Let it marinate overnight. It's got a little bit of sesame, a little bit of sriracha in it. We try to make some tasty sandwiches up in here. Are you ready for this experience, Riley? I'm incredibly ready. Incredibly ready? Like super hungry? It's already smelling delicious. Alright, well we'll be back in a few minutes with hopefully some barbecued meat and fish that's all right to eat. We got oh, the fish good. going. It's going to be done here in just a second once we get done flipping this meat here. It's got the nice caramelization, a little char going on. And that's about all the beef we can go. <laughs> Where's the tongs? Wait, wait, let me see tongs. You want to try and get some? Mm hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's hot. Holy <laughs> We're amateurs, that's for sure, when it comes to working the grill over a little bit. But hopefully everything's coming out okay. And, uh, but right now, yeah, we're toasting up some buns here. And we'll see, hopefully they're... Yeah, they're getting there. They're probably... Probably good already. A uh, tilapia sandwich. We just grilled it on our charcoal grill over there. We've got a uh, cucumber, carrot, mango slaw with a little bit of sesame and some of that sriracha in there give it that sort of asian flavor we're pairing it with our uh, 
$6 Behringer Shannon Block. We're going to see how well that goes. It smells pretty nice, so uh, hopefully it tastes pretty good. Uh, but I guess we'll give this thing a little sip. Just a cleanse the palate of uh, what I've already had. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. It tastes pretty good, so let's uh, yep. dig into the sandwich here. It's really good. The slaw, uh, you can taste the mango in it, and it's really great. It's uh, fresh. You've got the fish, you've got the oils there. It's just everything really comes together in it. Yeah. Um, and I really appreciate the, uh, the cucumbers, just a light sort of almost just a palate cleanser yeah, on it's the nice sandwich itself. Sort of it's, it's really nice. Crunchy thing to cool off the, the spicy stuff. What do you think about Riley? Riley's trying it sans vegetables. Not a big veggie guy. Well, tilapia is more of a, an oily fish anyway. It's very thin. And it is very refreshing. I can see it being more like an appetizer just to get you ready for like a main course kind of deal. And it is very refreshing. It's very light. It's just pleasant to eat. Get you ready for the good meal coming up. Yeah. And I've, I've never tried grilling tilapia. I just kind of threw this together. And uh, then the uh, beef also kind of threw together. We took. Kraft Chipotle barbecue sauce, mix it with hoisin sauce, which is a Chinese kind of staple, at least American Chinese staple. And it's got sriracha and some other little spices, ginger, some orange peel stuff that was all thrown together there. It's got the same little uh, uh, cucumber, carrot, mango, sriracha slaw that yeah. I uh, just sort of Looks really mixed good. together. Lemon, lime, we'll see how it tastes. Give it a bite here. And we're gonna try it with a uh, Petite Syrah. It's uh, from Crown Valley uh, Winery. Might have to gulp back this uh, <laughs> white wine that we tried here. Which pairs with the, uh, the fish really well. Any white wine yeah. is gonna pair with fish well. Yeah, it's very uh, bright and it goes with- The Chin and Blanc's really a sweet wine. Um, <clears throat> it's not dessert, but I mean, it's just, it's just a fruity, uh, you get the pear, the apple, um, and it really goes well, especially with the slaw that we put on top of the tilapia. It really goes really well with it. Yeah, and I forgot the uh, the slaw and the marinade. I marinated the top of tilapia for about half an hour with a uh, lemon lime sort of thing, and it had a little bit of pear in it, as uh, Ethan brought up with the flavor of the wine. So it, sort of, it ended up working out well there. I forgot to mention that earlier. Really well. Yeah, and it had a little bit of strawberry, some other fruity stuff that I mixed in there with there, with it. Uh, but we'll try this. Just gives it more variety, and more complex taste. Yeah, we'll try this uh, petite Syrah with the uh, the beef here. And I've never tried the uh, petite Syrah from Crown. No, this is actually the first time. Uh, we went up to them. We had our uh, <clears throat> our big brew fest in uh, St. Louis tried a whole bunch of beers and we, we talked to them we told them we really wanted to have something to uh, sort of give us a little break a little try a few extra things in there other than just beer this is one of the things that they gave us is the pizza raw uh, pretty excited about it we hadn't tried it yet but it it's supposed to be really good we've talked to our our uh, winemaker Al about it and he really really appreciates this one so we're, we're excited to try it and pair it with our uh, our ribeye sandwich so what do you guys think of the wine so far It smells really, uh, it's got the umami notes, the savory notes, that a lot of red wines have. And red wines typically pair with your red meats better. It's just the way they are. Um, the, the fattier red meats and the red wines are capable of cutting through that and allowing you to really enjoy the flavor of both of those. Yeah, it's still got some uh, sort of like uh, dark cherry sort of fruit notes going on to it. It tastes really good. Yeah, that really And I can't does. wait to try this with the uh, barbecue here. Uh -huh. The dark cherry notes really do come out in the wine. Um, you really smell it beforehand. I didn't even notice that at first, but yeah, it really is. Uh, it really goes really well with everything else. Uh, what did you think of the uh, uh, the barbecue thing here that I mixed? It's it's spicy and the wine goes well with it. Very sweet and the sweet of the hoisin sauce. I'm kind of surprised of how to me like how good it tastes. Maybe I'm just high off of my own uh, cooking skills. But well, uh, the sweet sort of balances with the spicy. I think it's the think. slaw that we put on top of it. And the, the, the slaw yeah, the with the, really uh, well. the mango specifically. Mango, I don't know, everyone's seen mango habanero stuff and stuff like that. But the mango really does help with the spiciness. It, it adds a sweetness to everything that really makes everything else just meld together really well. And it does pair with this wine very well. It's a very complete meal. Like a 
it just goes together. One thing ties to another thing. <clears throat> Absolutely great. And even the char. Yeah. The char from the grill yeah. just puts that nice crisp to it that just makes it even that much better just to bite into. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to grilling, we're sort of okay when it comes to grilling hot dogs, but even when we were up in St. Louis doing our brew fest, that got out of hand. Uh, we <laughs> I put together this beef and uh, the fish thing. It's worked out really well with the wines we've got here. And uh, the wines that we've got, the, the Behringer Chen Blanc was really tasty, and the Petite Sirai. I've only had one other Petite Sirai, it was okay, but this one- It from, really tastes good. From uh, Crown Valley is really delicious. Super, super fruity on the nose, and it, it goes well with the spicy, hot, but densely packed, just like the hoisin and the barbecue sauce, super tasty. Well, uh, this has been mouth loads. Yeah, that's been a, a great episode of mouth loads. It has. I've really enjoyed this. And uh, I think we had a good time here. We want to thank Riley for uh, joining us with this episode. Yep. And I hope you guys uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Give us any feedback, whatever we want to try here. And uh, we'll bring some more episodes out to you very soon. Thanks for joining us on the Roadkill Break. See you. Cheers.